In this video, we'll look at the concepts of path line, streamline, and streak line. So, to describe experimental experimental images and experimental videos, we need to quantify the motion of a fluid in terms of what we can really observe. So, in a flow field, we typically inject some kind of a dye. So, we have a needle like this, and through the needle, we have some dye injection. So, as the flow takes place during the flow there is some kind of dye which uh, gets advected in the flow so then the motion of the dye is a representation of how the flow takes place apart from this we can seed the domain with a lot of particles and when there is a net motion the particle particles will rearrange themselves in accordance to the flow and maybe something like this happens so the correlation between two images gives us what motion actually took place so this particle maybe it goes here so we can sort of make a correlation so this falls I mean this is not the actual thing but loosely speaking this is what happens and this is called as particle image velocimetry uh, so to have a grasp of how to quantify the flows in terms of such kinds of entities we need to know certain things we need to define certain kinematic quantities the first one is path line the second one is streamline the third one is called as a streak line so path line in a flow so if this is the domain of the flow if this is the, the nozzle where the first particle where a particle comes in so at t equal to 0 it is here then at t1 the particle goes here and at t2 the particle goes here t3 the particle goes here t4 the particle goes here there is no other particle being injected into the flow and so on so if we join all the locus of the particle at earlier times we obtain the trajectory of the flow which is also the path line okay so the path line is obtained by the locus of particle injected at x0 at t equal to 0 at a other given time at any later time so to draw the locus we just connected points at t greater than t0 so obviously the final time is not fixed is variable and if I take a larger t I will have a larger locus if I have a smaller t maybe I have a smaller locus okay that defines very simply the path line the path line is defined for a single particle the second one is streamline it is defined as the lines which are instantaneously parallel to the flow field so if I have my V vector given by U V W and so if this is the V vector or the U vector my line has to be orthogonal uh, my line has to be par parallel to this so if I have an element of length dx the idea is that dx is parallel to u dx along a streamline
So if this were the pardon me. If this were the streamline, so at this junction I have drawn the streamline and the vector not or not parallel to each other. This is for sake of construction. So dx is the elemental length along the streamline and u is the velocity vector. If dx is parallel to u, the, the components of u and dx must be such that dx by u is dy by v is dz by w. This says that the direction cosines of the two vectors are equal. So, using this equation at any given time, we can find out the streamline. Then we have a streak line. Now, we've seen that in a domain, we have various particle injections. So, uh, let's forget about the whole extent of the domain. let's do it on a new page so we have a nozzle in which the first particle enters at t equal to 0 so this is a t equal to uh, this is a t0 at t1 at t1 this particle moves so maybe it goes here but in the meantime another another particle has been input into the domain okay then at t2 this particle this black particle moves ahead and the blue particle also moves ahead and the red particle is injected so the colors indicate that injections are occurring at different times and the particles are going ahead then at a later time the black particle maybe it goes here the blue particle maybe it goes here the red particle because of the flow it may be unsteady so this black particle goes here the blue particle goes here the red particle also goes there and there's a new particle so we see that as time progresses the series of particles that are injected from a given location so location fixed but each particle has a different time of injection and because of this we have multiple particles entering into the domain so at a later much later time we can have the first particle here the second particle here third particle here fourth particle here fifth particle here sixth particle here seventh particle here eighth particle here so this is like i am taking a syringe and continuously injecting some kind of fluid into the system so the first particle is here the second particle is here at different times i am locating at the same place so the line formed by this is called as a streak line so these are multiple particles at a given time they have all passed through the same location at some multi at some earlier time so i am look looking at the streamline at t equal to some t final all the particles which comprise the streak line have passed through x naught at some earlier time t which is has which has to be less than t final okay like this like t0 was the first point t1 was the second point t2 was the third point and so on so here the variable is the injection time injection time not fixed 
for the case of path line the final time was not fixed for the case of streak line the injection time is not fixed okay we'll do a small example in the later video